Here we are today at the Senior Design Project. This was the Trench Bot Project, uh, where the University of Minnesota has come out with a uh, new trencher with their Senior Design Project. As you can see, it's set up with a front pivot wheel, a jack that raises and lowers the, um, the blade, and it dig digs uh, trenches for uh, installing fiber optic cable and irrigation. Now we're going to go to each one of the uh, uh, of the uh, students to talk uh, to see exactly what they did on the project. Hi, I'm Frank Pickler and uh, my my role in the project was to, uh, I did the overall arcing circuit design. Uh, the idea was to um, take signals from a remote control like this one here and uh, the, the signal from this goes to this receiver and uh, it was a way of processing the signal from this and uh, delivering power to all the various subsystems on the trencher. Um, so we use a pretty, pretty simple comparator circuit to do that. Um, and so there's, uh, there's really six main signals. Uh, we have a left and right for the wheel. We have a forward and reverse for the solenoids on the hydraulics. And we have an up and down for the jack. There's also a kill switch and then the button. We also have a free button that is not currently being used for any function, but we can upgrade the system later if we want to add functionality. Um, so to turn this, I'll turn this over to Yiming. Hello everyone, my name is Yiming and I'm in charge of the software part in this project. Here what you see what I did in this project is that I programmed the metal chip here, which you can see over here, the metal chip. It's a micro it's a microcontroller. That's the reason why you have the two digits here. It receives the signal from the receiver here and goes to the microcontroller and the microcontroller will give you the degrees we are turned here. That's the re reason why you could see the degree here. Keep going. And I'm also in charge of the PCB layout in this project. That's what I did. And here I will pass the presentation to Zach. He will give you more information on this project. Hi, I'm Zach Jehoda. I was in charge of sourcing the wireless remote and receiver right here. And then I was also in charge of finding a way to input signals from the potentiometer down here and then uh, output them to a screen to show you the angle heading, judging by when the wheel turns. You can see the angle display here changes along with the wheel turning. And uh, I'm going to pass the presentation along to uh, Chejuan over here. He'll tell you more about what he did. Hi, I'm, I'm Shazan Shamsuri. What I did in this project is to find the uh, uh, the actuator that we need for the project and also buy all the components for the circuit and also I also involved in the designing of the PCB port uh, so what we need for the jack is uh, something that can hold the capacity of up to 2500 pounds and that this is what we got is electrically controlled 12 volt drug DC and that is what I did in this project now I move on to Hazimi Hi, I'm Muhammad Awan from Malaysia. Louder. In this project, I am in charge of the production of the board. So, from the prototype, I make sure that we produce the right board into the PCB board. And then, beside that, I also in charge of the side project, which is we test a smaller trencher, we test the electric motor, and then we decide that we need a new one which has a bigger power. So, now we go to marketing. So. Uh, Hi, I'm Zach again, and uh, when we were working on this project, we had a target market in mind the whole time, and we built it with the idea that it would reduce the payroll costs, judging by you only need one person to run this instead of multiple people all day, and to give you more of a cost analysis and you know describe more in depth of what we did, there's Azimi here. So we had the hit button remote control, it's really good, it's really tough, so you can drop it, it's, it's no problem. <laughs> and then, what, what we did is you just, you send a signal to the microcontroller, like for example, you push right, you push left, so we send a signal here and then it will move the wheel there, so move right, and then 
Right. So, especially what they did. So, so we can move forward and reverse, but we need to, to run the engine, so we, we're not going to do that here. So, here is the. When we, when we push the forward button, so the microcontroller will send a signal here, so the this path will open so that the hydraulic can move the treasure forward and reverse. We also can control the actuator here when we push up and down button so we will have signal going through here so the actuator will go up and down to with this switch. So another thing is we have also have a potential meter here. It will output different voltage based on the angle of the wheel so we can see from the display here where we move move the wheel so we have different angles so we can display it here all right that's all from me i'll pass the presentation here hi it's me again Sheldon. Um, i'm going to explain why we did this project it's kind of like there's a huge demand for installing fiber optic cables right now and for, for the time being the only way to handle this trencher is manually uh, manually dragging the trencher all the way towards the desired de de pattern and it is a very huge machine so it kind of brings stress to your body and it also creates a lot of fatigue factor and increased cost during the project and that is where the wireless control system comes in where it helps to decrease the fatigue factor it lower the cost it increase productivity and it also eliminate the stress to the body and that's why we did it um, now I'm give the presentation to Frank okay so um, we have some ideas for how we could upgrade this machine in the future um, one simple design would be like a line follower so you could we could put an optical sensor in the front of the machine and paint the line and the machine would follow the line with the optical sensor and cut out the pattern that you painted on the ground Another idea that we have to control it wirelessly, or to control it auto automatically, is to, uh, uh, to, to have, it, have the computer be able to program a predetermined path and then use LPS and GPS sensors to have it trace out that path that, that was pre-programmed into the machine. Um, also, we can have it. Uh, we can have a, an application for a smartphone or a computer that allows the the trencher to be monitored that way and send send feedback uh, to the computer, telling when it's low on fuel, where it is, if something bad happened, um, or if it has completed the job. So you wouldn't even have to be in the vicinity of the machine while it's operating. Um, so yeah, there's lots of different ways we can go with this, and uh, at the very beginning we had made the circuit design modular. It makes it very easy for uh, systems to be added to it. So really, any system that you want, you can add to it, and it would just be a, it would just send signals to our system that would that would tell it how to control uh, the trencher. So really, any additional system that you would want to add, uh, you could do, and that has a number of advantages. The first one being that you can just upgrade to additional new systems as they come out instead of having to buy an entirely new trencher. And then later on we can offer a, a, a line of trenchers and you can, uh, you can kind of customize what modular pieces you want in your circuitry. So it would be very much like buying a new car if you want it in black or you want it in red, if you want it with electrical windows or, or crank windows or whatever, you can choose options uh, later on after we've added these systems. So that's the trenching team uh, at the University of Minnesota. I'm Frank Pickler. That's Yiming, Zach, Sezwan, and Hazimi. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you. <laughs> and that's the end of Trenchbot TV, as you can see. The students did a great job over the semester, put a lot of work together, and finished it up in 15 weeks. <laughs>